Okay, guys. So welcome to yeah to next part, and which one will start texturing? So let's first make this ID that I was talking about. So let's delete the default layer, and let's create two folders uh, here. Yeah, let's create two. Let's name one wood, and let's name the second metal. And now we have to create uh, the wooden parts ID and uh, the metal parts ID. So let's add one layer which will help us to differentiate which is wood and which is metal. And click on here on the fill layer. And let's change the color. Let's drag it down first. Let's change the color to something very visible, so red for example. And let's move it uh, inside the wood part. And now we want uh, this to affect only the wood part, so let's right click on the wood uh, folder and let's click add a black mask. So black ma mask means that nothing will be visible and white uh, means that everything will be visible so let's uh, mask the parts that are wooden uh, if you have this mask selected we can go to we can go and change the the tool to polygon fill and now uh, if you have the color on white we can uh, choose the parts are that are wooden so this is face select mode and if you see if i drag uh, on the faces, this, this will, uh, yeah, just mask them. So let's drag it on this part, so it will be the grip done. And let's see from the other side if some everything catches correctly, and it did. And uh, next wooden part is this part. And as you can see, if we use the face tool, it, it is a lot har harder because it just uh, shoots through the other side so let's undo that and let's click on this part which is mesh fill and we can select this part because this is this was the separate part so we can just select this mesh and this will be wooden part done yeah, and i think uh, that's the only two parts that are wooden in, in the shotgun so we have it done so let's now select the fill layer that we created. Let's duplicate it by Ctrl D. Let's move it to the metal part. And let's change the color to something again, very visible. So maybe the bright blue is okay. And now we want to select the metal parts and we don't have to do it manually. We can just uh, select the mask that we created before and let's just click copy mask here, right click copy mask and uh, first we have to add a black, a black mask here in this folder and now if you right click on this mask you can paste it into mask. So we, ha we will have the, the, the same mask as on the wood and we want to invert it so right click and click invert mask. So now you can see that we have the basic basic uh, mask for our shotgun so now we can start uh, coloring the base base color so actually we can select the filler that we created and let's see if you can change the color but uh, it depends on you if you want more stylized uh, version or more realistic I will go for realistic version so I will delete this fill layer and I will add the custom material that is that came comes with uh, substance so in this material section or here you can find the materials search for wood and you can see uh, we have different types of wood and you can just drag it onto our uh, folder so yeah this maybe is not the look that we achieve uh, that we are aiming for so let me 
guys check how pump shotgun looks okay so i can see it now it is something like this but uh like it is more uh, brighter so maybe let's try american uh walnut ground nut so let's drag it here let's see how it looks i think it's too much so okay let's just play with wood walnut so let's delete this american first we have to rotate it by 90 degrees so this lines will face uh, horizontally so let's drag it to 90 degrees no wait 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 90 degrees and it should look something like this and if you have a, a problem which is that this grip uh, wood line is not facing the correct way but this does basically you have to create two separate folders and one should be for the grip a grip and one should be for this hand uh, re reloader and in one you just change the rotation to 90 and the and on the other one you just don't change anything so if yeah if you have this problem just you have to do that so yeah we have this basic thing done let's change the basic color to be something more uh, brighter so let's drag this up the, the value size up and i think something like this is okay it looks nice I think and uh, we can just leave it like this for now as the base color is already nice you can still play with the values so with the values so here you can change the roughness for example to be very rough or to be zero rough I leave it at 0 0.5 and later I can change it so don't worry rain steps is basically the rings on the on the wood so more more you have it the more lines you will get so i change it to be i don't know very high i think yeah very high number is nice and let's also you can play with this value which is uh, normal of this uh, ring so if you change it to one you can see that it popped out and it actually looks looks okay i think so i can leave it at one for now and we can still change it later so let's move on to the metal part so let's delete the blue uh, base, base color and let's add a metal part so to search for metal part just right uh, just search for metal and you should have all kinds of metal here and uh, the one that we are looking for is I think it's called steel rust and wear and let's drag it and let's see if it works and yeah it does and as you can see we have our basic uh, basic color done and uh, yeah let's move on to the next part in which I will add some more damages and wear and tear and everything will look more uh, will look better so see you guys in the next one bye save save your projects